Hey everybody, so I have an update for you today about how we're doing with our little home reno project. And we are almost completely done with the downstairs, so I thought I would show you what is done and then show you what we started upstairs. <laughs> so I'm starting in my usual spot here. The front door is... Um, Obviously that whole area is completely finished, so that has definitely still been something that has been a favorite of mine, because <laughs> I just feel like our door looks so much better than what it did before. We are in the process of painting. Good morning. Chi Chi went downstairs and she was not being quiet. Oh yeah, that's okay. <laughs> We're in the process of painting the railing, so that should go up hopefully in the next couple of days. And here's Mr. Kong. Hi, Mr. Kong. He's such a good boy. Anyway, you guys have seen all this before. If you missed the before footage, I will link that video down below. I do have a playlist for everything, so um, you can find that playlist on my main channel page. But the big thing that was finished was the fireplace, obviously. So before it was just. And it's white and I like it. Yeah. Sparkly. It's sparkly, right? Yeah, and this, the glass is, the glass is white. No, it's clear. Uh huh. And we got our couch back and we got all the kitchen cabinet painted. <laughs> yeah. Can you can you let Mama finish talking real quick? Okay. And then you can share again, okay? So this is a white quartz tile that I picked up at Home Depot. So yeah. if you would like to do your own fireplace like this, that's where you can get it. Um, yeah, that's where you can get it at Home Depot. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but you can like see stepping, that it's I, I very... I like stepping on some furries. Yeah, I'm stepping on some furries. <laughs> so you can see that it's pretty rough and... Um, I kind of like that. It's got a lot of texture to it. It wasn't terribly difficult to put up Mommy, only because Mom. only because um, it came in big sheets. I think in one of my vlogs I showed you what the sheets look like. And so it actually went up pretty quickly. I would say it took our friend John. He does tile for a living, so he helped us with the tile projects in the house but it took him maybe like half of an afternoon to put this up. Now, if you are not experienced yeah. <laughs> in doing tile, I would say do yeah. a lot of research because there was definitely like a method to his madness. Yeah, so it's not like something that. it's not something that you can just sort of slap up. <laughs> it's really really heavy and um he started with a ledger on the bottom that left one whole row out essentially and built it up from there and then the two days later he came back and did the very bottom row so otherwise it, it, it is so heavy that it will like slide down essentially so that's something to keep in mind if you're thinking about doing this yourself um, nothing has really changed with the exception of we still have not painted all of the doors in the house that's something that we'll probably do in a couple of months I'm honestly a little bit um, tired of projects and I could use a break so we're just gonna clean the doors really well and maybe do that in the spring in here the only thing that has changed is I did um, do a couple of DIY projects so uh, I recorded the chalk paint that I like I did a chalk paint tutorial sorry it's kind of early in the morning and I'm still not like <laughs> processing things super well apparently but I did do a tutorial on how I chalk painted that mirror now I didn't do a tutorial on the frames because it was basically the same process but this is what the frames look like when they are chalk painted so I did distress them a little bit as well so that they tied in with the distressing that I did on the mirror and I just I really like how it pops a little bit more against the accent wall I'm not going to chalk paint all of the frames in my house 
I just really wanted to do these guys here. The next thing that I do is probably going to be my coffee table. So I'll share that project with you guys for sure. So the yeah. last big thing that we did in the kitchen is we finally got the tile backsplash, which was honestly a little bit of a pain in the butt because when John came over, he told us that we should have actually removed all of the damaged drywall that was there. So <laughs> we were, <laughs> I, I didn't care quite as much. I kind of figured we would have to eventually do that. Um, but Craig was a little bit huffy about it because it was just messy and so I mean whatever it got done so we had to put all new it's called hardy backer back there hardy backer is what you use when you are working in areas where there's a lot of like moisture so like kitchens and bathrooms um especially like behind showers and things like that so anyway it's not drywall that we put in here it's hardy backer but this is what the tile looks like when it's all done. So this was a glass tile mosaic that I also picked up at Home Depot. And it was super affordable. I want to say it was like $8.50 a sheet. So that really wasn't bad at all. There's certainly a lot more expensive tile out there. And there were some more expensive tiles that I really liked, but I just couldn't justify them. So... <laughs> I decided to go with a little bit more of an inexpensive option, but I actually really think that it turned out looking like a lot more of a higher end tile once we got it all said and done. So I opted for a silver like platinum grout instead of a white. I figured that it would be easier to keep clean than a white. So and the color is called platinum. So if you are looking for the the same grout the name of it is platinum again you can find it at Home Depot I feel like grout names are like universal from brand to brand so um, yeah anyway I really like the way that this turned out I love it with the quartz counters and everything just looks finished finally the edges we opted not to do a tile um, like accent on the ends we just cut the tiles and then painted right up to the grout so that it just kind of blends in there but I think it turned out really good I'm really happy with it um, cabinets obviously got repainted this was a huge difference for me from the before they were an ugly like stock cabinet like oak color really didn't care for that. Uh, I'm still not missing the little island that we had here. I know a lot of people warned me that I would probably miss that if we took it out, but I don't. I just, I like having the room here because my table doesn't have to be pushed up against this wall anymore. Like when we have people over, like people can actually sit back there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> we've never been able to do that before. Like each time that we've pulled the table out, we've had trouble. Like if somebody needs to go use the restroom, like there was this complicated shuffle where everyone would have to get up because there wasn't enough t like um, walking room for someone to like get out without these people having to get out of their chairs and, you know, like letting the people go by. So this just it just works better. I know that the breakfast bar thing is really helpful to some people but we don't need it we have a table to eat at so that's been working great um it's my mother-in-law's birthday this weekend <laughs> so yeah. that's her gift right there yeah it is it is right <laughs> Stella's birthday is actually next weekend yeah. so in here laundry room nothing much has changed in here since the last time I showed you I finally did find a little rug to put here that is Chi Chi, right? Yeah, I like her. Yeah, I do yeah, too. Yeah, she, she doesn't have her necklace on because she dropped it. Oh, yeah? I yeah. think you may have taken her necklace off. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and then here is the downstairs bathroom that we completely, basically gutted. Yeah. Um, I mean, we didn't, like, touch the walls or anything, but we certainly we took everything we else out of here. Toilet. Yeah, we changed our toilet. Yeah. We did. 
Anything and else? And here's the pink thing, and here's everything. The light turns on, fan turns on, and it turns on. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And here's our new thing, and we don't got any new toilet paper, but this is new. It's from Home Depot. The toilet paper's from Home Depot? Mm -hmm. No, it's actually from uh, Costco. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Home Depot. He's so cute. Anyway, that's it, you guys. So this is the downstairs right now, and let me show you what we are working on upstairs really quickly. Um, I don't want to turn this off because then I'm going to have to piece footage together, and I really don't want to do that. So it's messy up here. Don't judge. <laughs> if you've ever done, like, a home reno project, you know that... You basically just move piles of things from one room to another as you work. So, um, okay, this is my office. This is where I record normally. So, we changed out the trim in here. <laughs> so, this used to be, well, it used to not look like this at all. I can't show you any, I don't know that I showed the windows beforehand, but they weren't trimmed out like this. Um... So new trim along here. We are still needing to put in the crown molding, so that's something that Craig and I are going to do. I need to paint this white. I still need to paint the door jams white to this room, that room, and Stella's, yeah. and this bathroom. But this is essentially what, this is what I need to do <laughs> to the rest of the doors upstairs. It's a huge pain in the butt because you have to sand this stuff and then you have to prime it with two coats and then you have to put two coats of paint on there. It's a giant time suck. Um, so that sucks. But we've already replaced the hinges here. We have not replaced the doorknobs yet. All of the doorknobs are getting switched out to a brushed metal as well. Um, our room does have the crown molding, although we still have to like do the caulking up there and... Um, like fixing the seams and then like painting the nail holes and stuff. So that stuff still needs to be done. Touch up paint needs to be done in here. This is our room. It's a disaster, you guys, because a lot of the stuff that was in my office is now in here. <sighs> it's basically just like I just have mess <laughs> that I've been dealing with for like a month and a half now. And then this is our front bedroom. Obviously this got new trim and yeah, this needs a bunch of touch up paint in here and the crown molding and then that little piece right there primed and painted and then this room will be done as well. But that's it you guys. That is the house currently. Um, thank you guys for joining Bye. along on this journey. Bye. <laughs> I kind of feel my pants a little bit with a little cake. Um, okay. what? I spilled my pants, but it was a little okay. It's a little okay, huh? Did you spill Daddy's water on your pants? Oh, it's actually... Oh, I have a feeling there's some water on the carpet in there. Anyway, I'll show you guys the upstairs when it's completed. And, um, yeah. Then we'll be done. Oh my god. <laughs> I really can't wait. I'm so over it.